What's going on guys? So you probably clicked on this thumbnail because it says something like 60 mile per hour plus razor. So today we're actually going to be going over my RSF build that we recently kind of got put together. We'll go over all the parts on that build and we're actually going to try to bring you guys with to go ahead and top that bike out um, and see what we get out of it. So uh, stick around, we'll jump into it. So of course, like just in general, we always want to make sure our maintenance is good, but for times like this, especially when we go through and make sure like all my axle bolts are tight and my motor mounts tight, um, just go through and kind of make sure everything is good here. Since we know we're about to hit some good speeds, we also want to make sure our tire pressure is higher than lower. Normally we have low tire pressure for wheelies and stuff, but for going fast speeds, I want to make sure I got enough air in there. So we'll check that out and we'll get ripping here. All right, so we're gonna throw the dirt bike helmet on for this one, just in case. And I don't really have good testing ground, so I'm just gonna go on a spot on the road. I don't recommend doing this. I don't even know if I'll have enough time to be able to hit my top speed on it, honestly. All right, what's up guys? So we're on the bike. We uh, just kind of moving out here. We'll take a quick look at it. So uh, we'll talk on our way up there and we can see I did a different little thing where I turned our 12 volt system is one turn here and then that turns the bike on so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have this to where you guys can see it and I can see it for this test but we'll we'll do our best and once we get up there um, we'll of course try to turn on that screen recording to see what the far driver says as well so yeah this is uh, the RSF build this is mostly EMF parts in it all mostly plug and play stuff. We have the Teleria throttle. We have uh, the EMF 12 volt system. We have the DKD. We also have the, uh, the rear uh, sprocket 65, 35 set size um, from EMF. And then we change it to a, a nine up front, or I'm sorry, from a nine to an 11 up front. So we're at like a 5.9 gear ratio right now. She's still pretty snappy. I'm in low um, because I'm trying to save my power for this speed run here. But we'll get on it on the way back once we try to get some top speed seeing on this thing. So the DKD, I don't know if you guys can see it at all. Shows you a handful of things. We have a video because you have to tune this thing correctly according to your bike and your wheel size and all that it's good stuff. So you can check that out, but it shows your battery life. It does show your amps. It shows, it shows uh, your, Nice, thanks. It shows your uh, miles per hour is tough to get right. It shows your different speeds, one, two, and three. If you have a three-speed switch wired in. Um, so yeah, it shows your trip. It does show your odometer. Keep track of how many miles on your bike. Um, your amp meter is times 10. So right now, you know, we're pulling like 20 to 30 amps, it looks like. Or no, I'm sorry, yeah, like 10 amps. But when I get on it, there's third, up to three, so that's why I say 10 to 30. But uh, so that's a cool thing. This is the Far Driver 72450 as far as controller goes. We will get a tuning video out, guys. I just have to run these things for a minute before I'm going to share tuning videos with you to make sure you guys don't go melt something and then I, it's my fault. I would never want that. So um, battery we have the emf 72 volt 32 ah 200 continuous amp 275 peak um, that's on the website and then to make it all plug and play we have the plug and play throttle this is the teleria throttle we picked we have a suron throttle the domino um, you can pick far driver vivor kelly whatever so we have the plug and play teleria throttle option here i really like these throttles they feel good so um we actually shout out to scott showed me a regen so this is temporary regen we have it wired to we could also have it as an emf horn switch because we use the same plugs for that it doesn't feel like a lot of regen so i don't know if someone can help me to get it to feel like actually breaks i'd like it to slow me down but um, i'm new to regen so we uh we do have the debt fab chain delete bracket on there along with that emf um, chain kit. We'll get, jump off here and take a look at that. So keeping us at the welded freewheel now with that um, the motor we haven't talked about. So it's the KR5V from Cunray on there. This is uh, 
actually putting out more than I thought it was going to, so not too bad. We have to get ride or die forks are coming for this guy. They're out of stock right now, so we're waiting. We have a shock that should show up today for the rear. We'll link it on my Amazon page. If you guys haven't seen my Amazon page, check it out. Um, we just have a lot of stuff that if I can't beat prices, I'll just link it through Amazon. So we have the Depfab chain delete bracket there we were talking about as well as the chain kit from EMF. This is a number 35 size, just a little bigger than a T8F. So I'm gonna hold up to that power a little bit more. Um, again, all these videos are out there if you guys wanna see. As far as our rear brake, I know I'm running stock brake, it's crazy. Um, rear brake, we have the ride or die rear brake, has a 180 millimeter rotor. And as you can see, a nice big caliber. This is all bolt on, install videos up there. Um, so, actually a pretty good set i'm pretty impressed with that as well this is actually turning out to be a good good set we have a suron seat here um, we have a bracket coming that old link tree as well that's going to make a suron seat bolt onto this all clean we can see our tail light there i don't know if you guys can see the tail light works with the brakes um, because we have the emf plug and play set that is plug and play to the ride or die set with the adapters um, the horn the headlights and uh, you can't really see right now, headlight with the switch up there. And all plug and play. So yeah, pretty good stuff here. We, uh, I don't know if you guys can see the little icon for the headlight on up there that we have a plug and play option to go into there as well. So yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're coming along. We're getting some cool stuff done. You guys are helping support. Shout out to all my guys supporting me and all my customers out there. Uh, we appreciate you guys helping make this happen so um i don't know guys i don't know if i can hit 60 right here or not but this is it i think i'm gonna rip the roundabout and we're gonna send it so mode three it is it's actually looking pretty clear right now She's still got some pickup up there in the 40s too. That was pretty gnarly. So it looks like the top is right at that 60 with this set. I think if we go down to like a four point, uh, a four point, uh, 4.9 or whatever, we could get drop down to a, or a 5.4. I think we'd probably be hitting that 60s. So this is pretty flat right here. I forgot to screen record. There's 60. We saw it. start screen recording looks like we're live so we're gonna go for it she got some pickup pretty good in the 40s. Please don't hit me. Dragging some toe right now, guys. Holy crap. Right, guys so i think that's going to conclude our top speed for this setup right here um 
59, I'm going to call it, you know, we were bouncing 60, probably right as we start losing some of those volts, we're, we're bound back and down. So, um, something to talk about is like, as these bikes get more dead, you're going to have less power. Like on the E-Ride Pro, even they're saying, uh, you know, that they uh, are getting less top speed at once it's fully dead. Like at 10%, they're at like a top speed of 25 miles an hour rather than 60 when it's full. So same thing. Um, Telerias I hear are not that way. It depends on how your battery's specs are, I guess. I don't know how they're working that out. But um, anyway, just something to consider. You're not gonna see those top top speeds with a you know, half dead battery. That's why we topped this off and came up here for the speed run. We see Voltron doing that a lot. So um, that's the reason behind that. But honestly, guys, you know, that's a pretty good speed for, uh, for the setup here. Now, I did tune it up to 150 amps, line amps, and like 390 phase amps. And I just wanted to see if that was gonna get me any more. It really didn't. I saw 60 mile per hour the other day with uh, 130 line amps and 350 phase amps. So I'm gonna bump it back down to that. This is just some nutty power. We'll, uh, I just wanted to see how it felt taking off and I wanted to make sure I got to that top speed in the stretch, but we had no issue getting to that 60 mile per hour like that. So not, not a, uh, not going to complain with those numbers, guys. That's pretty impressive. Now, if you want to get above that, we're going to test the FW11. Uh, people are saying they're getting 22,000 watts out of that. So. so we're seeing right around 130 degrees. The motor's saying it is right now. Um, again, you know, you never want to see like 180 is where we always start to think that's getting to those melting temps. So, you know, that's really where you want to be watching your motor temps but 130 is not bad for cranking those amps to it they say they don't want you cranking that much amps to it but we always are overpowering stuff as we know she's feeling pretty good the ride or die brakes are doing good holding up good just a little brappy on this bike for me still but the welded freewheel feels good Not quite comfortable for my one-handers yet, but she's pretty zippy now that I tune that up. That second second mode's more snappy too, so I'm being careful with 150 amps. I'm used to 130. Let's see how it pulls up in first though, if it does. Nope. Oh, we can get it up in first. guys hopefully you enjoyed the ride we tried to go over that stuff real good um, I do want to say I don't recommend doing 60 miles per hour on these things I know a lot of you guys want to and a lot of you guys are we just did um, is it the smartest thing no is it smart to do on the road no not at all so I please don't recommend doing that I just did this for the purposes of this video I'm not doing that on the day-to-day -day. that's um, completely not what I do riding these around. This is where I'm at, 90% of my razor rides and about how fast I'm going. So we really like to be around that 50 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour and not abuse this beautiful thing that we have going and riding electric bikes around. And you know, when there is the time to go fast, it is fun to pop her into three and crank it out, of course. So We're working on the turns on this puppy. So let's see if we can do a few little roller burnouts for you guys here, maybe. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's some nutty power. smoke cloud right here. Look at that freaking tire marker rolling burnout. These tires aren't gonna last long. Those are the results. Um, 
Again, we have, this is 11 in the front, and we have uh, 50 or 65 in the rear, giving us a 5.9 ratio. Um, so that's getting us up there. This motor is hot. So I wanna keep pushing this thing and make sure it can hold up to what we want. Again, the FDLB 11 will get tested out here soon. But until then, we'll be riding this thing around and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.